Your baby is generally ready to begin solid foods when he asks to drink more often. He cries even after breastfeeding or finishing an entire bottle. He shows an interest in what you eat. There's an increase in the number of demand feedings for three days or more and he still seems unsatisfied. Anything that seems to show that the baby's growth pattern is diminishing in terms of weight for reasons that are difficult to explain may be a cue to start solid foods. Babies are usually unable to accept solids before the age of four months. There are several reasons why. The baby does not have full control of her neck muscles and needs to be supported while sitting up. The baby does not have a fully developed immune system which could increase the risk of developing food allergies. The baby is unable to produce an adequate amount of saliva or does not produce enough enzymes to digest food properly. The baby does not have enough coordination in his lips or tongue to accept food. And the baby has immature kidneys, which are unable to handle too much protein. Remember, there are no advantages to starting solid foods too early. Exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months can decrease the risk of gastrointestinal and respiratory infections in your baby. is most often a baby's first solid food. That's because it's an important source of iron. Cereal is generally introduced between four and six months. Babies usually enjoy cereals and are able to digest them easily. Iron-enriched cereals are best. There isn't a great deal of science with regards to the sequence at which solid food should be introduced. And uh, we've traditionally started with cereal, gone to vegetables, usually the yellow vegetables then fruit, and then meat. Start with a single grain cereal like rice or barley. Both have a limited risk of causing allergies. Never add cereal to your baby's milk or formula bottle. This interferes with the baby learning to chew. When choosing cereals, read the labels carefully. quality in your first ingredient and you don't want uh, too much sugar and you don't want salt added to an infant food for sure. Iron enriched cereal will be the first food that your baby will try and it will be a main part of your baby's diet for the first two years of life. You have a few single grain varieties to choose from, like rice, barley, and oatmeal. I, for one, was shocked by how little they actually start with. It can be as little as a half a teaspoon. So that's a half a teaspoon of rice cereal right there. And all you want to do is mix it with an equal amount, or maybe a touch more, of either your expressed breast milk or formula and really just start them on that. Now I've got here an incredible amount of cereal. It's actually, by the time they get to be a year, this is how much they'll probably be having, which is a half a cup. So again, we just want to add a little bit of the express breast milk, which in this case happens to be at room temperature, or formula, and you just want to work it in there and get it into a paste. Now when you get it to this amount, you definitely would want to consider heating it up a little bit. Exactly, and it's a great staple for breakfast, lunch, uh, even um, supper times for baby's first two years of life. You can heat baby's food over a double boiler. If you're using a microwave oven, be sure to stir food well to eliminate hot spots that could burn your baby's mouth. Also, it's not recommended to warm breast milk or formula in the microwave. <laughs> 